Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I am creating a spread in my little square journal. Um, I'm using jelly prints for the background and I'm adhering the papers using gel medium. I'm just using my jelly print scraps that I have laying around. I have a lot of them that I started to use and um, I try to use those first because I don't want to have a big box with paper scraps laying around. So these kind of pages where I add some um, collage pieces to the background are perfect to use those scraps up. I'm using a normal dough scraper that is meant to be used in the kitchen to adhere my papers. I find this is the perfect way for gel medium and for gesso because when you have gel in a brush you will hardly get that out of the brush and over time it will ruin it and that's pretty easy with this tool. And I also use a Callisto tool just to um, scrape over my page and press the papers to it and it also removes the excess of the gel on top and I found out that this works really great and I don't get any wrinkles or bubbles under my papers. I think I will speed up this process a little bit so you don't get bored by watching me gluing down papers and then I will come back to real time. I usually let this background dry overnight because I learned that when you work on a not completely dry um, collage background it often can happen that something comes off or that when you use the heat tool you get bubbles and so I normally let this dry on its own overnight. I now add in some background stamping with black to get some contrast on the page and even more texture. I'm using stays on ink for stamping. I prefer this one against archival ink because it dries faster but of course archival ink will also work. I want to do more stamping but I don't want to stamp into the white border that I have around my collage so I'm just using um, this tape to protect it. As always I have listed all the stamps I've used on this page in the video description and there you will also find a link to my blog post where you can have a look add a close-up image of the page. Oh and what I want to mention is that shipping is open to the US. Recently the German Post uh, changed the way of shipping for tracked orders. Um, that means I had to increase my shipping costs for shipping outside Europe but every order will go out with tracking and then the German Post seems to ship those orders, not by sea. Um, I believe they ship it by airmail. I did a test um, shipment uh, two weeks ago and it arrived pretty fast. So I am really positive that shipping now will not be a problem anymore. Um, you will find a 10% off code for my store in the video description in case you want to order some stamps. Some of my favorite stamps that I use all the time are those sit stitching borders and I really like to use them on these collage backgrounds because they I think they make it look uh, very interesting. 
Of course you can just sew your papers before you glue them down and then you have an original stitching on your page. This will look even more pretty but um, for me this is just something uh, that I would not normally do because I have to pull out my sewing machine and it takes a lot of time and also you have to think of that before you start working and sometimes I just want to create and then it's easier to use just a stamp for this. I'm also using that number stamp. It's from the mixed media marks just as the sewing borders and the ticket stamp I've just used. It's one of my go-to images at the moment. I really love that <laughs> numbers. I don't know why it's so grungy and chunky and I think it's perfect for every background. I am thinking about stamping some leaves to the page and then color those in with the Uni Posca markers. And these leaves are from the Inky Flowers stamps. I'm now coloring in the leaves with the Uni Posca paint marker. Um, I just picked white because it matches the white border around and I think the background is already so colorful that this is enough. What you also could do is you stamp your leaves uh, separately onto a sheet of paper and then cut those leaves directly on the black outlines and glue them onto your page. So this is kind of a paper piecing then and you could use all kinds of patterns or um, things you have laying around to stamp that on and to cut them out. I will speed this up also a little bit because it's just me painting in those leaves. I now also use the Posca markers to add more marks on the page and I just <laughs> scribble them in. Um, it's relaxing, I think. It's nothing special. I just create some wave starts and all kinds of marks. I'm also using some different colors of the markers.
Finally, I want to use some words or one word as a title of my page and here I picked three words from my journal words stamp set and I just stamped it with embossing ink and then I embossed it in white onto black cardstock. And here I'm just looking where I want to put the words and if I want to use all of them. And usually I place them on the page and then I have a look through my camera and I decide uh, what looks best. And finally, I made the decision just to go with one word. And that's what I hopefully did. I hope I could inspire you to start creating a little bit today. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will see us next time. Have a wonderful week. Bye.